Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to show you some more work on my SR71 plug that I am working on to uh, make molds from. Right here, when I 3D printed this part, um, there was some um, imperfections in it. So what I'm going to do is just mix up some Bondo and spread a very thin layer on here. And remember when you're um, working with Bondo that um, you want to put the minimal amount on there because the more you put on, the more you have to sand off. But first I'm going to just go ahead and sand this down with 100 grit sandpaper, then mix up some Bondo and spread over here. So let's get started. Alrighty, here we have some um, Bondo mixed up here and I'm just going to spread a small thin layer on here. Alrighty, the bundle's on there now, and now I'm just gonna wait till that dries, and then I'm gonna sand that down. Here we have it all repaired now. So the first thing I did was uh, sand it down with 100 grit, sand, 100 grit sandpaper then put a thin layer of Bondo over that, then I sanded down that Bondo. And then after that, I just shot a heavy layer of primer over the top of it, and now that section looks good. And that's how I uh, do a little repair like that. Here we have one of the inlet cones, or shock cones, uh, sometimes called, and goes in here and what I'm gonna do is sand this down and then put a heavy layer of primer on here um, this print came out quite well the line print lines are very very small so there's not much sanding needs to be done done on this and so I can just sand it down light sanding and heavy primer sand that down and then shoot paint over this and this should be ready to mold up for this SR71 so I'll get started on it All right, here we have the shock cone now with a heavy layer of primer on it. And once this primer is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down with uh, 400 grit sandpaper. Then I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the color over it. I'm gonna paint this white. And then after that, uh, sand it down with 1,000 and 1,500, then polish it and wax it, and it will be ready to mold. Here we have the shock cone now, it's been painted. And it looks really good. 
now what I'm going to do is just um, sand this down with 1,000 grit sandpaper, 1,500 grit sandpaper, then polish and wax it, and then I'll make a mold of it. And I'll show you how to make the mold from this also. Subscribe for more.